In this exercise, the goal is to write a class template that will print out elements to an arbitrary output stream. What we have here right now is we have a printer class template that's going to act as a functor. So it overloads the, the function call operator. It's going to take in a single element by reference to const, and then it prints out that element to C out. And what we'd like to do is to generalize this so rather than just printing out to C out, we can print out to another stream that's actually saved as a variable, as a member variable inside of this printer class template. So the kind of thing that we'd like to do is looking down in main, we construct a container. Maybe we have a standard list like we have over here. We fill it with some items. We construct an out output stream. So here we're constructing an output file stream. And then we'd like to be able to print out each of the items from that container to that output stream by constructing a printer int using that output file stream. And then we send the begin and end iterators over to the for each function template, which will actually apply the functor argument to each of the items within that sequence. And of course, if the functor prints out that item to the file output stream, then each of the items will get printed out. So again, we'd like to modify our printer to be able to do this. I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to work on this, and then we'll look at this together. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to keep around the stream that we're using, okay, because we actually only construct the printer object once when for each is called, and then for each is going to apply that functor to each of the items. So the functor itself needs to keep track of which output stream should it's, it's using. So that means that we need a member variable that keeps track of the output stream. Now we can't actually make a copy of a stream, so we can't store it by value. Instead, we need to either store a pointer to it or store it by reference. Let's go ahead and store it by reference. So in the private section, we'll have a member variable that will be an OStream reference. And we'll just use OStream here, so that way we can use it with any derived class of OStream, as opposed to just file streams. And again, this is going to be stored by reference. Now we also need a constructor, because we're going to be passing in the desired output stream as an argument to that constructor. And then the constructor will need to initialize this reference uh, to be referring to that output stream. So in the public section, we'll write a constructor. It's going to take in an output stream. And again, it's going to need to do that by reference so that we don't make a copy because we're not allowed to copy output streams. And then in the member initializer list, it will initialize the OS reference, the member variable, using the object that was passed in. Now, one thing to note is that if you actually fail to initialize OS in the member initializer list, that would be a compiler error because any time a reference is created, it must be initialized. Once that initialization happens, then that reference will always, as long as it exists, alias the object that it's been initialized with. So there isn't a default initialization for a reference. It must be initialized upon creation. Okay, now we have the constructor, so we can go ahead and write the function call operator, the overloaded function call operator. So it doesn't need to return anything. And its name is operator parentheses. And then it's going to take in an object of type T. And it should take it in by reference to const should take it in by reference because if t is int, then it's cheap to copy and it's fine to take it in by value. But t could also be something that's potentially very expensive to copy, say like an elephant. And then we wouldn't want to be copying it just to be able to print it out uh, to a stream. It also should be a reference to cost because we don't need to modify the object in order to print it out. Now this member function, also, it's better to be const because we're not going to be actually modifying the printer object either when we print something out. In terms of the body, rather than just inserting it into C out, we can insert it into our saved OS variable. And that will 
again, OS alias is the output stream that was passed into the constructor. So if we have F out passed into the constructor, OS will be an alias for that. And then X will get printed out to that output stream. Okay, and that's it. We have our, func our class template that now works with arbitrary output streams and also with arbitrary element types.